got one that can see. Colonel North, in your work at the uh, NSC, were you not assigned at one time to work on plans for the continuity of government in the event of a major disaster? Mr. Chairman, I believe that question touches upon a highly sensitive and classified area, so may I request that you not touch upon that, sir? I was particularly concerned, Mr. Chairman, because I read in Miami papers and several others that there had been a plan uh, developed by that same agency, a contingency plan in the event of emergency that would suspend the American Constitution. And I was deeply concerned about it and wondered if that was the area in which he had worked. I believe yeah, that it was. Yeah, I most, I to get yeah, I most respectfully request that that matter not be touched upon at this stage. If we wish to get into this, I'm certain arrangements can be made for an executive session. Things like the King Alfred plan, the concentration camps that were used during the Second World War to house Oriental Americans are now being refurbished to um, confine their new residents, i.e. black people. Brothers and sisters, there is a place for you in America. This is the King Alfred plan. Should there at any time become a clear and present danger initiated by any radical element threatening the operation of the government of the United States of America, members of this radical element shall be transported to detention centers until such time as their threat has been eliminated. Code King Alfred. Brothers and sisters, there is a place for you in America. Places are being prepared and readied night and day, night and day. The white boy's plan is being readied night and day, night and day. Listen close to what rap say about traps like Allenwood, PA. Already legal in D.C. to preventively detain you and me. How long you think it's going to be before even our dreams ain't free? You think I exaggerate? Check out Allen Wood, PA, night and day, night and day, the white boy scheming night and day. The Jews and Hitler come to mind, the thought of slavery far behind, but white paranoia is here to stay, the white boy scheming night and day. What you think about the King Alfred plan? You ain't heard? Where you been, man? If I may paraphrase the government notice, read... I've got Operation Orders home on Rex 84. I didn't realize at the time what it was. And this is when I was in the military. In 1983 and 1984, I was in the military. As a lieutenant, doing my part. And what's my part? Refurbishing prison barracks at Fort Drum as an engineer. But it wasn't explained to me that that was a piece of, of, the, of, of the pie which eventually our people are going to find themselves housed in, that was not explained to me. The part, part of it that fit us was this. All right, first they give you the, a basic overview of the region that you're in. Okay, so you have Rex 84, which is coming down from the White House through the Pentagon, and then from that point on, they break it up into different regions. All right, so within region one, which they call where we live right now is region one. Under region one, you've got, I think it's 13, Army divisions, Northeast, Region 1, and we are in Region 1 right now, right? And uh, there's X number of military posts. Well, anyway, let me just get to the meat of the matter. There are exercises that certain units are required to do. There were certain things that was going on, such as we were refurbishing the railway systems, okay, and all these military posts, wherever we was at as an engineer unit, um, we was practicing things more and going into the offense. Uh, we did a lot of training in the air. This is what I remember right off the top of my head. This is, we, I remember that we was practicing how to process uh, what they call EPWs, enemy prisoner of wars. All of the stuff we was doing. We did a lot of riot control training. You know, they gave us these big giant batons, you know? Because I remember in 83, we didn't do that. We did riot control, but it was more like talking. You know what I mean? You sat in the classroom and some guy bored you to death. That was riot control. All of a sudden, 84, you know, the com you know, and I wasn't a commander yet in 1984. All right, I became a commander in um, 
around 1986. So I was already a lieutenant in 84. And uh, all of a sudden, they gave us the orders, they read it to us, the whole troops, privates, and everybody, and said, listen guys, this summer is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a hot summer. We're gonna go out there and give it, a, give it our best shot. You know, so we was all pumped up, man. We didn't know what the heck was going on. Yeah, right, all right. And we got out there and we gave it our best, man. Putting in Constantina, how to contain areas, you know, without even going to see your building, man. You know, um, and since we were the engineer unit, we did more stuff like breaching obstacles, putting in obstacles, offense, defense kind of stuff, mobility. Um, and then when I got my lucky chance to become a commander, okay, they still use things from Rex 84 in terms of maneuvers and urban terrain. And again, it didn't click yet what was going on until towards the end. And all of a sudden, I just, my feeling ran cold. I said, I gotta get out of here. Okay, I can't do this to my people. I can't kill my people. I just can't do it. I can kill them, but I can't kill my people. Attention, attention, attention. American forces are here to help. Remain calm. We will not tolerate civil disobedience.